You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene Johnson. After The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Playing House After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Playing House After Show. Hey there, Playing House fans. Oh, I'm so excited that we're here. This is Playing House Season 1, Episode 6, Bocephus and the Catfish. I'm Matt Lieberman, and join me, of course, the panel's here. Carrie Long's here. Patrick Fasakerly's here. Hi. Stephen Lemieux on the ones and twos. Hello. Hi. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Uh, gang, I love watching this show. It's like a nice warm hug. Isn't it just a joy? Yeah. It's delightful. It's delightful. Um, <laughs> and yet another delightful episode. We're going to break it all down for you. Um, uh, of course, at the beginning, uh, we get to meet uh, Bo Cephas. Who is this? Uh, this no, kind no, of no, Matt. Is this like a new character on the show? Like a new, like a new, a new actor came in and played this character. No, Bo oh, uh, okay. This is this is a uh, 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 Lennon Parham channeling something from oh, deep within her, okay. finding her character. inner her inner swamp dweller. Oh, yeah. he's from a he's from a vague state somewhere in you know the southeast of our nation. Mm-hmm. Uh, he comes from apparently some kind of vague swamp. Crawdads do live there. Mm-hmm. Mud uh, bugs. Yes. Mud bugs. Mud bugs. Have you ever had a mud bug? I have. I've been to hot and juicy crawfish. Yeah, yeah. And they're, mud the uh, hen suck. Yeah, man. They're like angry shrimp, yeah. but we're we're all okay with it. Um, <laughs> there's a place in Koreatown called the Boiling Crab that my friend has been trying to get into for months. Get into? Like you yeah. have to have a reservation? Like no. Like it's like like an ordinary like crab boil kind of a place, but. Every time he tries to go, even when he went, like, when it opened, there was already a line around the block. Outrageous. Yeah, it's crazy, because it's super authentic. In any case, um, (laughs) so uh, Maggie and Emma are going through all of uh, Emma's old China stuff, trying to decide what to keep and, uh, and what to put in storage. You know, uh, uh, Maggie doesn't want any kind of scary uh, Chinese dragons to bother her child, (laughs) so that was out. But there's this perfect blazer. A Hattori Hanzo blazer. Yes, the Hattori Hanzo <laughs> samurai sword of blazers. Which, like, I'm, like, thinking about... I love this reference because I'm, like, thinking back to the movie. It's, like, it ju- they just put it on Netflix. And it's, like, um, if you someday were to meet God, um, even he would be cut. And I'm, like, the equivalent <laughs> of that in a blazer is pretty dope. Well, when you've got shoulders like those. Oh my god. Hey, back that's the show, yeah. that's the show talking. Shoulders. I love her shoulders. Yeah. What do you specifically check I, out her shoulders? I don't know. I never would have noticed her shoulders, but the show seems to make a point of the shoulders, so. Right. Well, I mean, 30 Rock used to do a running thing with uh, Liz Lemon's shoulders. Is that a th- is that a, let me ask you speaking on behalf yeah, of Carrie, all women. Please. Um, on behalf um, of all women. Is, yeah. is Carrie Long is our ambassador to women. To all women? Is that a thing? Shoulders? Is that a thing that uh, women worry about looking to masculine? Yeah, it is. And I got to tell you, as a six foot woman, I'm very large. I have had people before be like, sir, and I've turned around. I don't know why. Cause you don't look like a sir. You're not, you, you're, it's you're the broad decidedly shoulders. not sirish. I, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I would agree. I She's apparently like a tall have the Jennifer hair Lawrence. Up. Thank you. Yeah. I have a new favorite person in mm-hmm. this room. He's not even in He's this in room. The other He's in the next room. I know. Yeah. Uh, so am I, am I your new favorite, favorite person in, in this room? By default. Thank you. But uh, yes, to answer your question, broad shoulders, it's its a thing. Chicks just don't want it. We yeah. don't want it. I like my broad shoulders. like a big old pair of hangers for my clothes. Ooh. That's cool. Do you transport clothes mm-hmm. under each arm? I like do. with hangers? It's very convenient. Although okay. sometimes my arms fatigue, but I, I, I would do. understand. I cope. I cope. Yeah. So in any case, this blazer uh, was crafted uh, for Emma's body specifically by this uh, this ancient woman with no teeth. None. Uh, because they're the best with their fingers. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I must eat with Wonderful <laughs> non sequitur, I thought. I thought yeah. so too. And she I love that she followed her for two months to see how she would actually use the blazer mm-hmm. and incorporated that into into the it stitching. It's beautiful. Yeah, it it's beautiful. amazing. Um, and, you know, of course, since they're going through their old stuff, 
uh, Maggie pulls out the Bocephus hat. It's this hat <laughs> from a and wig. State fair. Yeah, from a state fair. It's yeah. the best thing she ever wanted at a state fair. And uh, when she puts it on, she summons this this energy, this enigma <laughs> of Bocephus, this larger than life man escaped from the swamp, uh, ready to give us uh, some some learning. And ready to set the lake on fire. Yeah, yeah, set everything on fire. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, you can't, that's, that's that's the inherent problem in what you're saying. Just set the lake on fire. Yeah. Just take a match. Too many Uh, schlitzes. Yeah, too many schlitzes. Uh, Oh, so many good lines in this episode. So, in any case, uh, you know, we, we go into the show, Zach... Uh, or zoo, as uh, as Maggie likes to what call it. What a nice nickname! Have we heard that before? I think so. Back in the pilot, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But at the same time, zoo to me as a nickname sounds like someone who's like too into animals. Um, or he's like out in a hog. No, yeah. Not like the animal, like the bike, and he's all like, "I'm tough." They call me zoo. Yeah, because I can't be contained. Yeah, hell, I'm like I, a zoo. I got every animal inside me. Mm-hmm. Did, you, I, did you ever have a nickname? Did I have a nickname? Yeah, growing up. I, I mean, I was, I was Liebs in high school. Liebs. Liebs. Yeah. Liebs. Tussie. Oh. No, I was not Tussie no. ever. Tussie Liebs? I was not Tussie Liebs. Thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to keep this bit going until it kills me. <laughs> That's uh, the idea. Yes. Uh, no, I, that, that, was my only, that was my only nickname. I mean, like... I don't know. There were like mean nicknames, like oh, Le- no. like Lieber Lady and Lieber oh, Loser. Because you didn't have that doesn't make shoulders. any sense. Yeah. Did you have petite feminine shoulders? Is that what happened? Uh, no, it no. was more it was more used just as a derogative <laughs> towards my relative masculinity at the time. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Uh, on the hard streets of South Orange, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, um, Absolutely fitting. But uh, Zach is uh, he's going on this on this first date with a woman he's been seeing on the internet for three months. That's and serious. Maggie, Cecilia. Yeah, Maggie mm-hmm. is seriously perturbed at this news because, you know, uh, she and her brother are supposed to share everything. And this is something he hasn't told her about. You know, is he embarrassed at this woman? What? Why? You know, uh, and he says he hasn't shared it with her because he didn't want to upset Emma, who would obviously be dashed obviously. at the fact that, you know, while his heart may pump for her, this will never his pump for her. No. Will and never he, pump. Yeah. Matt pointed at his penis. I pointed at penis? My, my dong. That's where it is. Yes. Okay. Which, That's if you're not familiar with that is, was... it's around the corner from the, uh, the, the, the Tussie region. Tussie. Yeah, the Tussie region. Yeah. That's good. Nice <sighs> clarification. Did your mom have a name for your dong? <laughs> <laughs> it was not Rooster. <laughs> Uh, my mom did not have a name for my huh. dog. Why would my mom have a name for my dong? <laughs> who I don't know. I'm, the uh, one like vaguely Jewish thing I ever heard like on TV, someone uh, like named their sons. It was like wash your schmeckle. Your schmeckle. Yeah, that sounds like schmeckle. a very Jew, a very Yiddishy I'm thing. I'm writing this down to be yeah. sure we never let it go. Schmeckle. But I didn't. It but didn't happen to schmeckle. me. Just what? Like, how did I lose control of this panel after only six? Episodes? I don't know. It happens, it At happens. what point does this become anti-Semitic? Um, <laughs> I think as long as I'm happy, happily involved, okay. we're okay. Because Tussie's schmeckle. fine, he right? We're having fun with Tussie. Tussie's fine. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you know, Zach's talking about uh, meeting this woman online, and uh, and Emma makes makes that joke. She's like, uh, what, "What website did you find her on? OkStupid.com." <laughs> uh, nailed it. And he was like, "No." Is, um, love at first type dot com. Uh, did you see how it was L- formatted, L- by the way? Fantastic. Yeah. L U V at sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First Just type. Attention to detail. Yes. Uh, and the hilarious thing I thought was while we were watching the episode, one of the commercials, I don't know if you guys farmers saw only. Farmers only. Farmers yep. com, the, uh, the dating website for farmers and farmer lovers. Wait, so farmers and like other people? Farmers and women who want to, women or men who want to date mm. farmers. A man so, like, but if like if you don't like farmers, can you go to like farmers only? You or? can go to. F- They'll it, sniff well, you out. You'll be even, a phony, right? Even though no, it's lover. it's the same way that on J date, a non-Jewish girl what could is the sign rule up there. Is what? it if you want to date a Jewish person but you're not Jewish or you, you can you see sign a up? So you can still J-date. sign up because it's a four-pay site. So oh, really? like they'll take your money. You know, oh, okay. yeah. I'm walking away from this one. Uh, I feel like someone's sure. being anti-Semitic here. And it's I don't a Jewish think, person. No, <laughs> I'm just saying as a strategy that makes sense for a pay site. Sure, sure. 
listen, I understand the reasoning behind wanting to take money from people who are trying to take advantage of your service. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I feel I don't even want to like set you up to dig a hole because I'm afraid of being offensive. But I'm enjoying I'm enjoying you doing that. I'm setting up shop in it. I'm opening a store. Uh, Some kind of practical joke. It's not funny. Thanks, Albert. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Albert Brooks. Uh, so, in any case, uh, Maggie is definitely suspicious about this woman. She doesn't want her brother to be taken for a ride, as it were. Um, so she logs into his Love at First Type profile, uh, and we have this great scene where Emma comes in, and mm -hmm. Maggie is like, uh, I'm not doing anything, I'm just watching, you know, lady porn. Lady porn, lady porn so for no, ladies. They're, they're hiding <laughs> yeah. the baby. Porn, yeah. porn the baby. with storylines. It's story <laughs> she driven. She the pregnant lady card. Yeah. Hurting the baby. Yep, you're hurting the baby, you're hurting the baby, stop <laughs> it, no. And, uh, of course she logged in. Uh, and you know, if Zach didn't want her to log into stuff, he should change his password tornado. from tornado12345. Great callback. Yeah. Because that was a secret word. And I believe the pilot. Mm -hmm. Tornado. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's his favorite word, apparently. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, this woman, she's so pretty. Gorgeous. So pretty. Uh, so pretty Very that it's suspicious, mm. which is like, which is sad because it means that, you know, on some level, both Emma and Maggie don't think that Zach could get someone like her, you know. Even though he looked so dashing as Don his, Draper. Yeah, his, been, he was a his, male. He was a male Joan. He was a male Joan. A male Joan. That's I correct. enjoyed his Mad Men. His um, banana, ensemble. Banana Republic uh -huh. Mad Men collection, which is real. Like, yeah, it's a real thing. Wow, the mannequins in the store so hot. So he, he could be a mannequin. He's he very could. slender. He, he does it, yes, and he has a he's, broad he's, shoulder. He's but an impractical slim mannequin. He's too yeah. tall. You, you want to be able to dress a mannequin easily. A tall very tall people. mannequin. Yeah. Patrick. I used to work retail, guys. Okay, yeah. I'm wondering where the, you're drawing on for this information. I have dressed many a mannequin. Meow. Huh. A lot of layers. <laughs> yeah. A lot of layers. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there were, Patrick. Huh. You gotta undress the mannequins when you close down at night sometimes. That's not creepy Why? at all. Why do you have to do that? the next morning. You gotta dress them back up again with new outfits. <laughs> I have goosebumps. It's not from the air conditioning. I'm just I don't like out. being in a room now. And with you wanna him. make sure that the guy stands next to the girl and their outfits coordinate. So the guy wearing shorts is with the girl wearing shorts because they're in the same room in yeah. theory. From the creators of Night at the Museum, Patrick Fisacula. It's fine. Don't worry about it. In Night at the Department Store. <laughs> so it's it's basically like the uh, musical TV special uh, Evening Primrose. Yes. Right? The one that we all know starring Anthony Perkins. <sighs> Except Rated X, yes. I know. God damn it. Patrick. Steven Sondheim did, did the songs. Okay. Everyone? Slow everyone dancing. knows? Is this the thing everyone knows about? No, not everyone. So, wow. um, so not only is this woman super all pretty, all the pictures are from a catalog. They're all they they must be fake. These pictures because they're they're, they're all too catalog many pictures. Plants. Yeah, wait a second. It's How could she? Staged. She's sitting in this piazza, a piazza? eating Who eating the perfect bagel. Which like. First of all, you're not going to find the perfect bagel no. in Italy, no. okay? So if you're in a piazza with a perfect bagel, you must have brought it with you from New York, which is insane. And that's just gross. Well, how long did the, ba the bagel stay perfect before they go a little stale? Um, mere hours. Oh. Not, maybe not even. Maybe not even. I would say, I would say uh, from hot out the oven, I would say you have maximum four hours. Well, I want to say, if you're going to have a perfect bagel, you want a little cool down time. You don't want it to be hot out Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like you give it like a 20 minute cool down. Did we bring our bagel specialist in for this episode? I am your bagel specialist. And why is that? Not going to touch it. Not going to touch it. <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> I don't get it. See if there's anything specific you have spot. You can spot that might tell you why I don't know. I'm I uncomfortable it. with this bit, Matt It's because Lieberman. I have written the words, I'm a bagel specialist <laughs> on my oh. forehead. Yeah, he get it out. It. Get 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 out of that dirty I part see. of your brain, Fisacrely, where all of your prejudice hides. Okay. Not comfortable with this bit. Right. Not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> In any Not case, at all. Uh, <laughs> they they go. Uh, so uh, Emma recognizes this picture. She recognizes the cardigan in the picture. It's a cardigan that she wore to uh, to a wedding. The to and fro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to and fro Cardi from yeah. Anthropology. To and fro Cardi from Anthropology Spring Collection, mm -hmm. and uh, they realize, oh man, this woman must be totally fleecing Zach. We gotta we gotta tell him. He's a man. It's yeah. A big, He's a big, man with an inverted penis. Yeah, oh, a, ma a big fat penis. man with an inverted penis that he's gonna somehow stick inside of 
Zach, which by definition, an inverted penis cannot be stuck inside of anything. To be I fair, I'm not so. exactly sure what an inverted penis looks like. It would be tucked up inside of you. I understand the word inverted. I understand what a penis nice is. Nice gesture with that one. Tucked up inside <laughs> of you. Guys, like, wow. this is why you got to subscribe like to the video. Like an any belly button, <laughs> uh, specifically. So what's Aww. the difference between a, a vagina and an inverted penis, aesthetically speaking? I'm going to say just the penis part. I would say that largely. Um, but I mean, I the know machinery you... hooked up to it. Yeah, right? no, I just mean shape. aesthetically. Like you're looking, just like you're, you're looking at it. Is this really the forum for this Look conversation? Look at their shoulders. Patrick? Look at their shoulders. If they're broad, it's this, probably a this man. This isn't the uh, inverted or penis Patrick, tall woman. podcast. For ten thousand dollars. Okay. Oh my gosh. I want you to look right. at this picture okay. and tell me, mm -hmm. inverted penis or vagina? Patrick, think about it. Come um, on, okay, uh, Regis, I, I'd like to have f phone a friend. Okay, okay. okay. I'd like to call my friend Carrie. Uh, hi, Patrick, I'm here. Uh, Carrie, you're on the phone? Okay, okay. all right, all right. 30 right. seconds. Okay, I've got, I've got a picture right here. It looks, okay. looks kind of like a, a penis, maybe, but, but, but it might be a vagina. I can't really tell. No. Oh. I never saw the picture. Oh. I'm sorry, Patrick. Uh, that, I feel like that's what it would but be But you like. do get to take home the one thousand dollars. You did get to the uh, to the milestone there. Okay, and thank, thank you, you for playing yeah. a vagina or inverted penis. Did you have fun. <laughs> and <laughs> see, <scene. laughs> nailed it. Uh, um, ah, love sound effects. In any case, they go to reveal uh, to Zach that he must be dating a fat guy with inverted penis, and uh, you know Maggie tries to gingerly explain this. You two, you need a moment, so I'll just vamp. Uh, she gingerly tries to explain it, uh, and Ma and Emma just slaps down. He's the, the, a man. Yeah, it's a dude. It's a dude man. A dude. A man, dude. dude man. Yeah, dude man. Uh, and you know Zach is uh, you know for good reason put out by well, this. Why? He yeah. looks good. He's polishing his shoes, old old world style. Mm -hmm. He's ready to go. He's got a he's got a whole CD with all of her favorite songs, oh including gosh. Jeremy Renner and Gary Busey singing "Baby It's Cold Outside" and uh, Kelsey Grammer Squizzy. singing something. Do you remember what it was? I don't remember Does what it was. Any other artist exist? No. 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 I, I love the dulcet tones of Kelsey Grammer. Yeah, it's amazing. I yeah. can hear those blues of Colin. Perfectly complimented with his slightly too small hat. Yes, um, I, that was like potentially my favorite, just like unspoken Nobody, joke it. In, in the whole season so far. Is just is Zach Woods in this in this Mad Men collection suit that admittedly looks great, mm -hmm. and then he puts on the hat to go with it. I completely forgot that that would even be a thing, it and it's mm -hmm. just it, and not only is it too small, the brim is like up in the front. It's just. He hasn't taken care of this aspect at all, and he looks. He went from dapper to ridiculous in under a second. It's it's just a wonderful Aww, sight gag. Poor zoo. Yeah, and no one talked about it. So he goes on to Rosie's. You know, screw them, screw what they think. I'm gonna meet Cecilia, and we are gonna be in love, and it's gonna be a thing. Um, so you know, Emma stops off at Rosie's. You know, while dealing with her scenario, which we're gonna get to in a bit. Uh, and discovers uh, Bocephus oh. sitting at the bar. Maggie in full Bocephus regalia, costume, mustache, hat with wig, and she is drinking a Schlitz, not real apple, apple juice, juice. Mm -hmm. uh, because she needs to make sure that Zach is safe and that he's not going to be messed up by some fat dude with an inverted P. Okay? That's what we're calling penises now, is just a P. A P. A, a P. P. A P. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm on board. Yeah, a P, V, or a T, because I'm sure that's what you're thinking about or right now, Patrick. A T, an inverted penis? No, it's a tussie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get out there before you can. Listen. I'm always thinking about your tussie. Weird. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Not, weird it, Not it, weird at all. Not weird at all. Loving it. Making loving it, and affectionate. Making it personal. So. Um, so it's always been your tussie. So th uh, this it's this. It's always been yours. <sighs> This fat I want you guy. to know that before you continue on with this show. <sighs> He's channeling his man it's again. It's always been your tussie. This big guy Love goes over and us up where we belong. <laughs> we where still we have, belong. We still Thank have you. a whole other story to talk about. Okay. So this big these guy. these people need to know that we record this very late at night. And this is very what happens. Late at night. Love happens. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just trying to review a great program. It is a great program. Yeah. Do you think it's a great program? It's fantastic. It's Where wonderful. we belong. Thank you. All right. So this big fat guy goes over to Zach, and, you know, uh, Bocephus overreacts and immediately goes over and offers to punch him in the next year. Uh, With a big beer belly. Yeah. Or a pregnant woman. Or a pregnant belly. Uh, and Zach catches Maggie in the act, realizes what she's doing. Uh, Emma's there with this bandana. She's ruined a perfectly good blowout for this bit. Ugh, a yeah. good blowout. You just don't want it. You and how much? Well, how much is that? Is that a twenty? Is well, that blowouts are expensive? Is that go, a twenty-five bucks? I think it's more oh, than that. Twenty-five. I think it's more. Living more social or Groupon. You're looking at like forty on yeah. it. Forty dollars. Yeah, and all they do is they blow dry your hair and they no, style they do it. They not just blow dry your hair. They exquisitely roll it out. They and don't they, cut you have it. Amazing conversation. They do not cut your hair. No, maybe maybe cucumber water is served, perhaps, or champagne, champagna. Yeah. When, when I, I mean, get my hair cut, they, bar. they, they, they give you? me things yeah. to drink and they cut my hair, and it's useful. No, no, no. Where I, where I, perfect blow I go to Orpheum Salon in Pasadena. Hi, Melanie. And it's it's <sighs> much better deal than this dry bar situation. It's blowouts. Patrick. I'm so concerned for your well-being at this moment. What's going on? What's wrong? <laughs> Orpheum Salon in you, Pasadena. You guys don't think Melanie is a listener? I don't know. Do you talk about this with Melanie? I should. I should. Let me, I would. Yeah. Wow. You're not promoting this show. Well, I don't think I've had my hair cut since uh, we started. So maybe I should get my hair cut again. And I didn't want to say out. anything. Oh, you think you think I should get a haircut and tell Melanie about all this? Yeah. I would tell Melanie about tell all this. Tell her about Tussie. Tell her. I would tell her anything. Detail. Melanie and I have a great rapport. Cecilia arrives. Yes, and in she, glasses. In glasses, perhaps even lovelier in the glasses. I hate it when that happens. And uh, and the, dork. You know, the girls are exposed or, or realize, oh man, she's real. And rather than expose themselves, no. as as portraying other people, not as I understood, uh, right? Uh, not <laughs> physically. Uh, they didn't whip out their tussies. Bocephus introduces herself as Bocephus, and uh, what was she? Jandana. 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 Her lover. Uh, <laughs> and they sit down to dinner with, with Zoo and, Ce and Cecilia, and, uh, you know, uh, Bocephus is asking all of these very leading questions, very aggressive line of questioning, uh, you know, and ultimately they find out that, you know, she is just a model. She is a model. Uh, this is what she does. And, you know, it's really embarrassing for all involved until finally Zach tells Maggie to stop it. She takes off her hat and she leaves the mustache. She leaves the mustache Wonderful. on. Yeah. I, I don't want to brush past the line of Bocephus, we got to get you home to watch your jag on the VHS. Yes, that was beautiful. Because jag is a reference I always appreciate. I'm Who sure. Um, <laughs> Jag's just a funny show to reference. Okay. Because it was very successful, but who watched it? I know. That's uh, that's how I feel about um. I did about Matlock. <laughs> oh, I watched Matlock growing Matlock up. Matlock was exquisite. And syndication. Oh, oh, Matlock yeah. House, Universal Studios. Not the time. <laughs> not <laughs> before. Nope, moving on. And then they like freeze frame on Matlock. Cecilia <laughs> knew that uh, Maggie was was a woman the whole time, uh, but th um. again thinks that Emma is a man. Could you tell us what it was that I was singing? Okay. I get it. It's an American classic. I get it. Andy Griffith. End of song, please. I just want to review a show. All right. You we guys. Matlock. Guys, we're 23 minutes into this podcast, okay? Yeah. And, and the listeners are either loving it or hating it. They're so deeply, <laughs> deeply hating it. Um, so, you know. Maggie obviously is very, very upset uh, by this whole turn of events and de deeply ashamed. Mm -hmm. Next morning, though, Zach runs in uh, needing fluids and <laughs> salination. So we all think, oh, Chicka snap. Chicka wow. Yeah, you know, got himself a piece. <laughs> but here's what really happened. Yeah. After some heavy petting, which arguably, b despite what happened after, she did want. That's what Who Zach wouldn't? says. Look you how know. he was dressed. Yeah, look how he was dressed. It was consensual. Yeah. Um, she kicked him into a ditch and stole all of his money and his car. What? Oh, Cecilia, um, you're breaking my heart. Mm -hmm. Nice. You're yeah. shaking my confidence lately. What? It's a Simon and Garfunkel song. Okay. I'm sure we'll hear it in about 20 seconds. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. So, uh, um, 
yeah, she uh, she's like, oh my god, are you okay? And he's like, I am alive. I feel great. I it was I am aflame with passion Best and shame and 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 joy and everything. You know, it's rare I think in life to have an opportunity to have your life truly rocked by an individual or a group or an act of God where everything you thought was possible gets just shaken up for a second and you're put in danger and it's mixed with, you know, being horny and you come out alive at the end of it and she gets caught. It's, it's an amazing perfect. train wreck and ride of emotion. Sure. Yeah. Patrick, response. Well, do we want to do that? Yeah, what, when has that been a good idea at all tonight? Well, I thought I'd, I'd change it up and like let you speak and maybe you'd say something about the show. Patrick, are you okay? Tonight I, I have to leave the AfterBuzz TV network. Please, Is Patrick, it because of the mannequin? I, I have to follow my dream as, 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 a, as an impersonator on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Of my That's favorite a... of my favorite character Which in character? all of fiction. Who is it, Patrick? Boo Radley from To Kill a Mockingbird. No Ugh. no one's gonna recognize you as Boo I Radley. I am going America to leave presents Boo Radley. in trees for Literature. children. There are no trees on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm going Pat to plant no one trees on Hollywood Boulevard. Patrick, Patrick, this is a dumb dream. And I, I am going Don't. to leave no. treasures for the children. I hate to break it to you, but this is not gonna work and out. And I'm well. going to be a hermit idea. and never be on the boulevard. Okay, just go then. Go and let me recap an episode. Patrick, write to us. I've taken off my headphones. And I'm putting them back on, but it's over. <laughs> okay. He came to a census. scene. <laughs> <I've seen. laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to just quickly mention iTunes. Matt, get to it. We're oh, waiting on do you. Do the iTunes part. Yeah. Because, hey, gang, hey, where gang. else on the internet do you get such quality bits and also commentary on your favorite comedy playing house as you do here on AfterBuzz TV? Uh, you know, the best way that you can support us, support this show, support everything we do here at AfterBuzz. You know, I don't know how many shows you listen to or watch. I listen to a whole bunch, not just the ones that I'm on. Oh. Uh, it's true. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the best way you can support the network, go to iTunes, rate, review the show. I say it every week because it's the truth. Absolutely. It's how we keep the lights on, the doors open, because it's how we get sponsors. It's how we get wonderful guests that we are working on for you. It's how we are able to continue putting out such a wonderful wealth of free content, 60 to 70 hours of free content a week. Uh, it's a major, major undertaking, and we, yeah. we thank you for your support. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. What, are, what is this? What? Yes. I was giving yeah. you some Steven background. Oh, well, on point. Here's the thing, on people. On point. We can all be better. We can all be smarter. Yeah. We can, we can all leave a review on iTunes and maybe make someone's day brighter. We can convince Patrick that what? his dream is dumb and that it should die where it stands. Let's take a stand together. Unite. <laughs> all right. Great. Um, so Please tell us what you really think about this show on iTunes. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, meanwhile, you know, we've got these these mandatory marriage counseling sessions with oh, Bruce hanging. Set up Loo several Five episodes ago. Five of them. Five of them. Looming over us. <sighs> you know, we don't want them to happen because no. Bruce is a big old jerk. We don't want to see him get what he wants. And, uh, you know, Emma, she goes to put her stuff in storage and discovers who is living there but Bruce. <gasps> We, so scary. We mm. heard a rattling. It was, was it a, a raccoon? Was it a She was gonna Thelma and Louise him. Yeah. Shoot him right in the balls. In the balls. In the, in the balls. bee. In the bees. The bees. Yeah. The bees knees. Your balls and knees. <laughs> okay. So Yeah. Don't yeah. celebrate him. Do yeah. not celebrate mm. anything that he does. Um so you know, Emma offer makes Bruce an offer. I will help you find a place to live if you cancel these marriage counseling sessions and just get used to the fact that your marriage is over. Yeah. Exactly. He's just a big piece of garbage. Yeah. So uh, they go to visit Bruce's mom, uh, who is, uh, dare I say, a firecracker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mary Pat. Uh, Mary Pat does not want him to move home. She kicked him out because of uh, what he did to Maggie. Good mother-in-law. And she also plays, I think, Max Mom on Always Sunny. She does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, 
they go to the house. Emma is wearing her special blazer, and she's like, "Don't worry. In this blazer, your mom will feel so guilty. You'll, she'll be making you a pot roast in under, you know, an hour." And you know, Bruce is like, "Oh, I don't, I don't she like pot roast. It's it. too wet." And I just wanted to punch him. It's like, "Shut up, Bruce. Shut up, Bruce. Bruce, you big dummy." So you know, Emma makes her pitch. And mom in a is twenty nine. Yeah, and well a mom done. is mom is receptive. She's like, okay, you can move into the garage. And he's like, ah, ma, the garage. There's spiders in there. Uncle Donnie died in there, and she throws him out of the house. Matt, you got the part. Yes, <laughs> that was great. That was yeah, a great read. That was a great really read. Nice. Thank you. Uh, any notes? I could I could do it again. Um, you know, just more intensity, faster, more intense. Could you do right. it next time, but with broader shoulders? I like yours because it's the Star Wars yes, direction. That's, that's exactly it's right. How George Lucas directed them in Star Wars. Yes. I don't know if I can physically make my shoulders broader, but it I will try. It was just a callback referencing the show. It's a, it's a thing that's it. going on. Okay. okay. Oh, but, this is good information. This isn't on the yeah. page. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, they get kicked out, and you know Emma is able to find Bruce a lovely little apartment. How that cute! She fills with all of her leftover, uh, you know. Ceremonial Chinese yeah, trinkets her, her and her magical and things. scrolls. Yes, her magical scrolls that she was given, gifted with in the beginning of the series. Nice. Um, and her uh, folding screen, which blocks off the closet to nowhere. Does a closet uh, ever go anywhere, though? I mean, into a closet, but this one Narnia. apparently wasn't even a closet. It was oh. just a door. It goes into Narnia, guys. I see. I see. It can go to Narnia. A lot of ways to get to Narnia. <laughs> Different way every book. Is it really? Yep. Oh, I would have thought it would be the same wardrobe. Uh, no, just in the one with the line in the witch. Interesting. We'll get into this later. <laughs> Thank you. It is boring. In, in the magician's nephew, there's little pools to go into different No, nope, no, nope, we don't care. Uh, pools on the pools in the ground. Oh, so uh, Bruce gets what he wants. He he drops the marriage counseling, and uh, Maggie is relieved that maybe he's finally moving on. Maybe he's finally grown up. And Emma's mm. like, yeah. See, I think that's gonna bite him in the ass. In one of the episodes, mm. it's gonna bite him in the ass. Maybe. I'm 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 excited to see what happens. Uh, and finally, see, we have a funeral of a funeral pyre burning for Bocephus as we attempt to uh, to get rid of him once and for all. And, uh, you know, Emma snatches the hat from Maggie, throws it on the fire, and Maggie is just distraught. But it's too late. Bocephus is inside of He's her. Alive. He's alive inside you, of me. And way to commit, <laughs> Jess and Lennon, and, on that it. scene. Yeah. So good. You can just tell the outside, like, even when they say, all right, cut, and they leave set for the day, mm-hmm. they still adore each other. They have amazing chemistry. Yeah. And just that's great. It's so funny. Lennon bounce, like, jumps a lot for a pregnant woman. She does a lot of that side movement. Yeah. A lot of crab walks. Loving it. She's yeah. working it. Yeah. Pregnant I love it. Ladies got to stay active. Love this episode. Mm-hmm. All right, folks. Predictions. Kick it. Uh, k- k- wait. Kick it. Predictions. Kick it. Oh, there it is. Wrong soundboard, guys. Sorry. Kick it. Oh, sorry. I was running. What's going on? Sorry. Do you have a mannequin in there? Uh, no. <laughs> then why are you all Batman breath? Why are you all? What do, you, what do you think is going to happen on this episode, Matt? Uh, well, uh, it appears Bobby Moynihan is guest starring. Uh, we got perhaps a full Monty type situation. Mm. It looks like uh, a little full Monty, a little magic mic. Mm-hmm. Oh, please give me any ounce of magic mic. Right, ladies? It, it's, a, it's a great movie. <sighs> magic mic. I don't even, I don't even I know what the movie is about. I, I own like it. Just chanting Tatum's body, and then I. <laughs> okay. Steven Soderbergh. It's a great movie. Yeah, Steven Soderbergh. He's a great filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he owns Magic Mike. <laughs> yeah, it was like ten dollars. I bought it. I own that movie. Well, I understand that. It came out of the plastic as soon oh, as I oh, came home. Oh, a lot home. of movies, guys. Yeah. <gasps> huh? Uh, name a movie. Tell me if I own it. Um, Double Indemnity. Uh, no, but it's streaming on Netflix. Next. Steel Magnolias. No, I don't like it that much, but it's Juice. streaming on Netflix. <laughs> Juice. <laughs> Juice. <laughs> One more. Juice. Juice. No, I don't own Juice. I've never cool, seen Juice. Cool Runnings. Uh, no, but I do own Cool Hand Luke. Next. Menace to Society. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. Um, Piranha Man vs. Wolfman. No, I haven't seen it. The Mexican, starring Julia Roberts. No, I haven't seen it. Okay. Um, Keep going! Uh, oh. Patrick? Uh, Terms of Endearment. Uh, I, I like it. I don't own it. Oh, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> All About Eve. I own it on Blu-ray. Yes! Okay, I But I've one. never seen it. All right. Uh, so, I think we're getting a full money situation. Uh, Anything yeah. else? Any other predictions? <laughs> 
predictions you you mentioned uh, oh well yeah. yeah i think it's gonna come up between maggie and emma she's gonna realize like bruce isn't like they don't have official closure like bruce is still like oh i got an apartment but yeah, yeah. let's be real that's gonna that's gonna come back into play and the baby kicked did a little mm-hmm. action on her cervix so i think the baby's gonna get mighty active next episode all right do you think the baby is gonna like have a mind of its own and come out and... it could be alien do you own that yep i, um, I own alien and aliens the two that i like do you own baby geniuses no, but I did have a Super Babies poster in my high school bedroom for a while because I thought it was funny. Wait, I have one. I Air Bud 2. I've seen it. Yeah, I, I own Air Bud on Air Bud Golden Retriever. It. Receiver. Golden Receiver, sorry. Because he plays football. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Carrie Long, where can the people <laughs> find you? <laughs> Is that for me, Steven? No. No, I think it's because we're talking about Air Bud. Yeah. Guys, you can find me and my broad shoulders and this jazzy little jingle at Comedia Carry on Twitter. That's C-O-M-E-D-I-A-C-A-R-R-I-E. And you can also check me out the After Buzz TV show for Louie. All right. Patrick. I, uh, you can see me on Twitter at, at Fizakerly, F-I-S-A-C-K-E-R-L-Y. And I own almost every animated Disney movie except for Frozen, because I don't really like Frozen. Damn. Bold opinions. He loves being a controversial individual. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Lieberman. That's M-A-T-T-L-I-E-B-E-R-M-A-N. You can find all of my videos for SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd on YouTube. And you can find me here on AfterBuzz TV also doing uh, Marin. Uh, just finished Mad Men. Got Orphan Black, Under the Dome, Defiance yeah! coming back, The Strain this summer. Ooh, I watch a lot of them. shows. Yeah, it's going to be great. So thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next week. Good night. I love it. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.